I'm gonna use AI to launch a brand new, fully functional print-on-demand store on my own domain with automated order fulfillment and automated marketing. And what's even crazier, I'm gonna try to do it in 10 minutes or less, and you get to watch me from start to finish. So let's get right to it. I'm gonna use the new Everbee store to host the backbone of my store because of how easy they make it. Now you can import your store from Etsy or Wix. I'm gonna use the first option, which is create a brand new store using AI. So you don't need to import your Etsy products, but that is an option if you wanted to. Here you get to describe what you're aiming to do. I'm aiming to, well, I'm gonna say, I'm aiming to launch a new store where I sell fun, vibrant, colorful, print-on-demand socks. And I'm just gonna hit the up arrow. It's gonna use AI to launch my store. And while it does that, I'm jumping over here to Printify. Okay, and I'm gonna have links to everything in the description if you're not already on Everbee or Printify. In the top left corner, I'm gonna go to my new store where it says that. I'm gonna click add new store. Now it takes me here, I guess I was already on this page preemptively. <laughs> I'm gonna launch a Printify pop-up shop and let's just go ahead, let's see if actually Everbee created our store and get the name. It looks like they're calling our store Soul Spark. Okay, you can see it right here. Now, if I wanna name my store, I can go ahead and do that. I basically went with the most minimalist prompt available. But let's go with Soul Spark. So I'll go Soul Spark, and these don't have to match. I'm doing it just for you know ease of use moving forward. Uh, behind me here, there is a continue button. I'm gonna click that here in Printify. The reason I'm doing this in Printify is because they're gonna fulfill the orders for our Everbee store. So I'm gonna go ahead and click launch and I will skip the verification. I'm gonna go to my products and now we need to create products. We're gonna do this first, then we're gonna add the Printify app in Everbee and it'll integrate um, and essentially pull in the products that we create now. So I'm gonna click catalog here in Printify and I'm gonna look for socks, boom, right there. And I'm gonna go with the first one right here, sublimation socks from generic brand. If you have Printify premium, it only costs $5.12 per pair. Now we can sell these for $15, make about $10 profit all day. The next step is to design the socks. Now I wanted to make you aware, in the top right corner here, you can set the background color to any fun color of your choosing. Okay, there's a bunch of different colors. You can also set a custom color so you're not just restricted to what they make available. And then go ahead and upload your designs. I'm gonna start with some designs that I already uploaded while planning for this video, like a rubber ducky here. Now I can go up here, in the top of the screen and click the pattern icon. And then over on the right hand side, I have the ability to adjust the pattern. Uh, the first thing you might wanna know is if you scroll up, you can see here, create pattern. The easiest way is just to hit like brick horizontal, maybe add a little bit of spacing as you see fit. Okay, and once you have it how you like, by the way, I would usually be consistent. So if I set horizontal spacing to 6%, I'd probably do the vertical spacing to 6%. Now don't forget, uh, down here, you have to set the design for the front leg, the front right, back left and back right. And you have the ability to make separate unmatching socks too. That might be a whole theme for a store if you want. Socks that don't match. Maybe it's like, you know, two things battling with each other, like good and bad, left and right, something like that. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead with my design and I just wanted to make you, I'm gonna keep it simple for now. There's a button up here, apply to all areas. If I click that, I love that button by the way. It literally applies it to all areas, makes my life real easy. Now in the top right corner, there's a preview button. I'm just gonna click it really quickly evaluate the mock-ups, make sure everything looks correct, which I would say that's what I was aiming to do. Uh, next, all I have to do is hit, whoa, I gotta go back. You know what I almost forgot, guys? There's different sizes of socks available. So I'm gonna hit select variants. I almost forgot. You gotta make this available on the small and the large. Boom. Now we've got three different sizes of socks available and we can also cycle through them. So I'm gonna click large, medium, small, make sure that the designs are applied to all them, which it looks like it was. Then I can hit save product and move on. So I'm gonna repeat this. I'm gonna create a few different products before I integrate them to my Everbee shop and I'm gonna do it off camera to save some time. I'm adding my last pair of socks to the store here. Just wanted to show you that we don't have to order the socks and then model them, take a photo, anything like that. Printify's mock-up generator takes care of all of that for us. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that. And uh, I went ahead and I clicked and I set this photo as the primary mock-up. If I wanna switch that, I can just hover over the other ones and click the little star icon. Printify also has AI that will set a title for our product just based on looking at the design. So it did our title, it did our description. Down here, I have the ability to set the price. I can just hit edit price, 14.99, boom, done. We've got a nice healthy profit margin. And 
by the way, my profit margin says 53% because this is my, you know, recording Printify account. I have a primary one that I use for my actual shop and that would actually take the profit even higher because, well, I would get a base cost of $5 and I think it was like 12 cents instead of a production cost of $7. Last, all I have to do is hit the publish button, which is currently behind me uh, on this video recording. So I went ahead, I published it. Now all of these pairs of socks that I just created off camera are ready to go. I'm going to jump back over here to Everbee and it's allowing me, it built out my full Everbee store. The HTML, everything is ready to go, all the functionality. I have the ability to customize the color schemes here so I can just click through and see which ones I like. Okay, I'm just going to go with this one. Uh, I can change the primary font pairings so you can click around and see what you like. I kind of like the uh, satisfy font here with the a little bit of like a script style font. I think that looks good. I'm just going to leave that. And then Work Sans is the secondary font. And I'm going to go ahead and click Go to Dashboard. That button is hidden behind me again. A lot of buttons in the bottom right corner for this video. So probably not the best place for me to be hanging out here. Maybe I should move myself just a little bit off the corner. There we go. Boom. Just like that, our store is launched. Now, in the top right corner, you have the ability to edit the design like we just did or just preview your site. The first thing I want to mention is that the site works like this is a actual website with a shareable URL. You can simply copy paste it from the URL bar there. So mine is soulspark.myeverbee.com. If we go back here, we actually have the ability to connect it to a domain. So you can go to godaddy.com, purchase a domain, maybe soulspark.com if it's available. And then we won't have to do the .myeverbee.com portion. I'll walk you through that later. First, I want to come back here in Everbee Store's backend. I'm going to click apps on the left hand side. You'll see we don't have any apps installed yet. Go to the app market. You can either click here or in the top right corner, click there. You'll see Printify is hanging out right here. I'm going to click install. Then I click approve, connect. It's incredible how easy this is. I used to be a web developer, so I love this. I'm going to hit allow. And after a minute, it's pulled in all of the products from all of my Printify shops. I'm going to go up here to the top right where it says all stores. And I'm going to go to SoulSpark, which is the store that I created in Printify specifically for the Everbee store, then all I have to do is select all and click publish to store. And it's going to bring all of these, all the data, all the mockups, the price points, everything into my Everbee store. So now I can go over here on the left-hand side navigation to products and you'll notice that it is pulling my products in in real time. Uh, if I go here to the front end of my store, it should start replacing those coming soon placeholders with my actual products here that you see. So how cool is that, guys? I mean, we're only a few minutes in. We've got a full functional uh, store here hosted by Everbee on the back end. Now, you'll notice down here, it says connect Stripe to begin accepting orders. You can create a Stripe account for free, and that'll be your backbone payment processor for when people are ready to check out on your shop. I'm not going to do that part on this video, but I'll basically walk you through everything else. So if I need to edit any of these, I can go ahead, like this first one right here. Uh, you'll notice that the AI called this a cute dog pattern socks with pups. But if you actually look, these are peanut butter and jelly icons. So what I might do is rename these and just say cute peanut butter and jelly kawaii socks. You see what I did there? So I overwrite the, the title. I don't need to worry about editing it in Printify because there is no front-facing component to my Printify backend. This was just where I selected the products I want to sell, design them, and then push them to Everbee where now in Everbee store, which essentially when I say Everbee store, that's just the backend component to everybody else. I am SoulSpark now, right? I can go buy the domain, integrate it in just a few clicks, and they're, they're able to purchase and get their product, which will get sent to Printify automatically and fulfilled. Um, all, all just with nothing, no, nothing else is needed. Like everything that's needed to get your fully functional store. I'm showing you right now, minus integrating Stripe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then down here, I'm going to hit next. Uh, you have the ability to change the quantity of any of these variants. Again, our variants are small, medium, large. You have the current price. You can change that here on the next step. You have the ability to enable personalization. You can also offer discounts right here. Okay. And add those little discount badges to your, uh, listings, which is a great way of increasing your conversion rate. You can see over here how this is going to show up in search engines and you have the ability to edit the metadata associated with your listing. So that's the page title, the page meta description, which are behind the scenes things. They're not going to manifest on the front end of your listing. So if I go to the peanut butter and jelly socks, for instance, um, it's the stuff that doesn't show up here. Basically, uh, it's essentially 
what shows up in Google if they were gonna link directly to this page. Now notice, it didn't update the title yet, so I need to come in here and actually click the update button and then click yes, and it is going to now, when I refresh, have the new title related to actual peanut butter and jelly and not related to uh, dogs, which were not included in that design. So that's how you update a product listing. If you have a lot of them, you can also create collections, which I don't think I need to do with only eight products and they're all socks. But if I was gonna offer like multiple food related socks, I would maybe make a collection called food, make one called animals since I had the, the cat design in there. You guys get the gist of it. Uh, I did mention automated marketing. So over here on the left-hand side, you have the ability to set up automated email marketing here using Everbee email, which is an incredible feature and very, very powerful guys. Cause not everybody that comes to your site is gonna convert right away. But if you can capture their emails and then send an automated welcome email, and of course, when they make an actual purchase, they're gonna want the order update email. Hey, where's my order? Is tracking added, etc. cetera. Uh, you have an abandoned cart series. By the way, these are all already active when you set up your store. Everbee just says, why would I make you come in here and set it up when I know you should want these? Because this is only gonna make you more money. So they set them up for you automatically. If I go to the welcome email, even if you've never set up an email before, let me show you how easy they make this. And again, it's already working for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and click the welcome email one. I'm gonna click the edit button, which is down here underneath me. And now I have the ability to edit the text, edit the subject line. I don't need to, but if I want to, I can. Uh, by default, they'll pull in some of your products. So even if you don't select what to pull in, it'll just pull in one of your products from the product section. But because I'm in the edit mode and I click the product, I can go up here to this dropdown and I can select from my products that I just added. Okay, if I wanna add the rainbows, I can just click add. And then if I wanna see what this actually looks like, I should run a test. So I'm gonna click send test. It's got my account already pulled in. I click send and in two seconds, I should have the actual email that a customer would receive upon signing up for my email, email list. And as you guys can see, the email works. It looks great. I can customize every aspect of it. Like I was saying earlier, I do like using ChatGPT. I tell it, hey, I'm selling a print-on-demand sock store. Help me write a fun message for people that received the first email, welcoming them. You know, maybe we add a discount code. You can set those up. Um, by the way, you might be wondering, how do people sign up for the email list? Well, if they make a purchase, they get added. But also here in the Everbee email backend, you can click grow and you'll notice they already have a landing page for people to join your email list built out for you. Now it's very basic. Uh, you're most likely gonna wanna customize this. So click the three dots and then go to edit. And here you can customize all the messaging. You can add your logo, change the colors, etc. And it takes just a few minutes. And I would again, lean on ChatGPT or if you're a creative person, don't lean on ChatGPT. I don't think we should outsource everything ChatGPT, but I just know from firsthand experience how quickly and easily you can make a really nice looking landing page, website, logo, et cetera, using AI, you know what I mean? And you can do it on autopilot basically uh, if you're having like a, a slow brain day where your brain ain't really working. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep the last night or something like that. Really, there's no excuse anymore because AI is so valuable. Anyways, what is left guys? I think we can go over here to the Everbee store email. Just go to settings. I wanna walk you through the final settings. You can change your site name right here, okay? That's worth noting. You can set the language, set the currency. You can set, you need to set your business address, by the way. If you don't have one, you might wanna go just get a PO box or something like that from your local USPS. Your domain, there's a domain tab. You can see right here, the connect domain button. And I mean, honestly, I've always used GoDaddy for my domains. If you've never used GoDaddy before, I do believe they still run the promotion where you can buy your first domain for 99 cents for the first year. So I would go through Google, just, I used to Google cheap domain name. Look for the sponsored GoDaddy link for like 99 cents, save a bunch of money. Uh, under payments and tax, it'll remind you, you do need to integrate Stripe for payment processing. For shipping, again, you need to add your business address. And then you can set your shipping fees here, um, $7.99. I mean, if I wanna go and just match it to Printify, I can go back to the socks here in the catalog find socks, find this, scroll down, hit provider info, click shipping, and you can see that the first item is $4.39 to ship. So if I wanted to, since I'm only selling socks, I can just match this to $4.39 and just have a wash right there. Or if I wanna make profit off of it, I can say it's $4.99, then I make 60 cents profit on shipping as well. On the advanced tab, you can do things like add your Facebook pixel right here. That's gonna be great for tracking people. Then you can serve retargeting ads, which are the highest 
converting ad in terms of percentages because it's serving ads to people that have already been to your website. So make sure to do that if you're gonna run paid ads. You have your Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Hotjar. You can even add custom scripts right here, which as a former web developer, I love because hey, that means I can customize anything I want on my store. So I love that. The last thing I thought I'd mention is there's a brain tab over here. That's Everbee's uh, AI assistant that essentially you can just lean on anytime you need help with setting up your store or any creative aspects like your marketing. It's there to help you with whatever you need. So I wanted to make sure you are aware that that exists. Guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you're as excited as I am to go launch your own standalone print on demand store. It's never been easier and it's never been faster. <laughs> you know, you saw how easy that was to do. My goal was to show you in 10 minutes. You know me, somehow we got it done in 15. I, I'll take that, all right? Thank you for watching. Check out Everbee and Printify linked in the description and I'll see you at the next video.